Are we starting to play God, or are we planning our own demise? Will sentient AI live among us, or will we merge and become humanoid? Well, one thing is certain, AI is here to stay, and we won't stop developing it. From an easy language model like ChatGPT towards achieving full sentience, today we will do our best to explain the seven stages of artificial intelligence with an easy to understand explanation. To begin, let's start with the first stage. Stage one, rule-based AI systems. Just as the name implies, a rule-based system is a system that applies human-made rules to store, sort, and manipulate data. This is the first stage of AI. In doing so, it mimics human intelligence. Rule-based systems can be called preliminary AIs. They require a huge volume of specific data and rules to function effectively and execute a given instruction. From the complex software used in companies to the smart programs employed in various industries, be it aerospace or household appliances, all are rule-based systems. Rule-based AI systems surround us in everything from robot process automation used in business to autopilots used in aircraft. They are reliable and consistent, but their intelligence is limited because they require some level of human involvement to operate. This automation is powered by some seriously clever artificial intelligence. Seriously, it's everywhere these days. It's not just the time saver and money saver though. It's also one that expedites the development process of mobile applications. Of course, developing this kind of brainy AI isn't child's play. It takes a lot of elbow grease, brain power, and intricate rulemaking to get those codes in order. However, this stage of AI cannot learn for itself and cannot grow beyond the rules it initially was taught. Stage 2. Context Awareness and Retention AI will come closer to human intelligence the moment it moves forward from Stage 1. Stage 2 is a significant revolution in artificial intelligence. Because at this stage, these machines, based on algorithms, are trained using the best human knowledge and information about specific domains where they be implemented. Often, these systems are updated whenever there is a new feature or solution. Perfect examples are robo-advisors and chatbots, which can provide answers to our questions and queries. Shockingly, ChatGPT belongs to the second stage of AI. Irrespective of the hype and its oppressive capabilities, we are just at the beginning of the AI revolution. There are even more astonishing, mind-boggling AIs yet to be revealed. Google Assistant and Siri also belong to this stage. Chatbots have completely taken over numerous businesses. The unsettling reality is that they have drastically diminished the necessity for customer service agents, leaving many workers anxiously wondering about their job security. Moreover, these chatbots have become irreplaceable implements for streamlining and enhancing customer service, raising concerns about the decreasing human touch in interactions with customers. Another form of this artificial intelligence is robo-advisors. These advisors are already being used in the financial sector to assist individuals in making informed investment decisions. Robo-advisors can automate and optimize various investment strategies, such as passive indexing plans and mean variance optimization. And one thing is for certain, at this stage of AI, it will also ask you nicely to like this video and subscribe to this channel, something like this. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Stage three, domain-specific mastery systems. AI is taking over the world. From smelling sickness to conquering champions, these AIs are leaving experts in the dust. Will humans become obsolete in their own fields? Because contrary to previous AI models, domain-specific expertise AI not only strives to reach a level of human capacity, but also aims to surpass it. AIs in this category only need access to data, 
and they can make significantly superior decisions compared to humans. This is notably seen in the medical field and institutions that deal with cancer research. We now have AIs that can smell sickness or disease from your breath. This is concerning as it raises questions about the future role of humans in fields that were once exclusively handled by experts. The thought of relying on machines to determine our health outcomes brings a sense of unease and uncertainty. Will we become obsolete in areas where we once were heroes? Can the abilities of experts in this field ever measure up to the speed and accuracy of AI? AlphaGo is another perfect example of the AIs in this third category. AlphaGo was the first computer program to defeat a professional human Go player and a Go world champion. For those unfamiliar with the term, Go is the most challenging classical game for artificial intelligence due to its complexity. The system was initially educated on the rules and goals of winning, then taught itself how to play the game. Also, it's worth mentioning that the AI did so with minimal assistance to prevent it from making poor decisions. In March 2016, we witnessed AlphaGo ultimately conquer the 18-time World Go champion Lee Sedol, winning four out of five matches. Shortly after AlphaGo's victory, Google developed AlphaGo Zero, an advanced version that can autonomously play the game of Go without any human intervention. AlphaGo Zero developed sophisticated strategies by analyzing tens of thousands of Go games and learning the game's rules. In just three days, it achieved a remarkable feat by defeating AlphaGo with an overwhelming margin of 100 to zero. This groundbreaking achievement marked a significant milestone in the field of artificial intelligence. If stage three AIs fascinate you, then wait for the next you will be blown off course. Stage four, thinking and reasoning AI systems. Imagine an AI that has a goal and a clear vision and can break them down into small achievable steps. That's a stage four AI. A stage four AI comes close to human intelligence and will be better in some ways compared to human intelligence. These reasoning machines are powered by algorithms that possess a concept of mind. This allows them to interpret various mental states. They can profess faith and are equipped with a deep sense of knowledge, which they maximize to derive meaning for themselves. As a result, they are capable of reaching conclusions, engaging in negotiations, and interacting with both humans and machines. Although these algorithms are still in the development phase, they will be launched very soon. In fact, these machines will be able to engage socially, motivate, and negotiate with humans and machines. While stage four AIs are very sophisticated, we are only halfway through the AI revolution, and it is still not equivalent to a human mind. It is more like a highly advanced tool made for reasoning and thinking tasks. And as fascinating as these AI systems are, the upcoming stages of AI will venture into the realm of science fiction, with AI matching and even surpassing human intelligence. Stage five, artificial general intelligence, AGI, or self-aware systems, on the brink of AI becoming sentient. The main objective of many scientists working in the field of AI is to develop a machine with intelligence like humans to make systems that may transcend the human intellect. Though we are making significant progress towards reaching that goal, there is currently no system that can successfully achieve this accomplishment. Experts hold differing opinions on this matter as well, with some believing that we could attain this level within the next five years while others assert that it may be an unattainable feat. But I marvel at the scientists who believe it is impossible. Is there actually anything impossible in our world? Or what do you think, viewers? I'm eager to hear from you in the comments section. If we could construct spaceships capable of exploring other planets and even traveling beyond our solar system, is there anything we cannot achieve? Perhaps the scientist who would accomplish this feat is yet to be born. We've seen depictions of such advanced artificial intelligence in various science fiction films. Stage six, 
Artificial Superintelligence, or ASI. This is where we start playing God and maybe start cheating sentient life. If you thought the previous stages were intimidating, you have seen nothing yet. AI engineers will have made significant advancements in creating systems that can surpass human performance in specific domains, including games. However, the real challenge for AI specialists lie in developing AI-powered systems that can outperform humans in every aspect. As humans, it is hard for us to even comprehend something that surpasses our capabilities, let alone create such a system. In fact, it is not unreasonable to expect these advanced systems to make groundbreaking scientific discoveries and introduce new economic and governance models. However, experts are divided on whether achieving this feat is actually possible. Even if it is possible, the question remains, how long will it take for this ambitious vision to become a reality? This stage represents a significant milestone in the development of artificial general intelligence. The algorithms will possess the capacity to surpass even the most intelligent humans in all domains. It holds the potential to provide genuine solutions to complex problems that still challenge the human mind, such as poverty, hunger, and climate change. At this stage, machines created by humans will also outperform humans in intelligence. However, the advent of ASI has significant implications. The potential of misuse is enormous and the risk of unintended consequences is equally significant. It raises fundamental questions about power, control, and the very nature of intelligence and consciousness. The prospect of ASI takes us into the realm of the unknown, and it's here that we encounter the final stage of our journey. Stage seven, AI singularity and transcendence. AI singularity and transcendence mostly called the singularity, is the next stage of artificial intelligence and will lead to a significant expansion of human capabilities. By harnessing the power of ASI, we will be able to connect our brains and essentially create a new human internet. This advancement will not only allow us to share ideas more easily, but it will also open up new possibilities for advanced abilities like observing dreams. It may even enable humans to communicate with other living beings, including plants and animals. While some argue that reaching such levels is impossible for humans, others firmly believe it can be accomplished. The singularity is a hypothetical future point in time when technological growth becomes uncontrollable and irreversible, leading to unforeseeable changes to human civilization. With AI technology's current exponential growth rate of AI technology, there is a plausible chance of achieving this remarkable feat by 2045. The singularity is often associated with dramatic predictions such as the end of the human race, the ability to upload human consciousness into computers, and the potential for massive societal disruption. What are your thoughts on all of this? Are we being too ambitious? Feel free to drop your thoughts in the comment section below. This video took a lot of effort to make, so feel free to subscribe. The video on the top right explains sentient AI in a more in-depth way. Make sure to check it out.